Good morning. I've still been counting wrong. So <laughs> I'm becoming an expert at counting days wrong. So I think today is really 392 of from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Shani the harp is here. Jerry the stick is here. My good self. There is the Aegean. The hill behind us is where we're going to climb into. Uh, we're heading Asso's direction. We very unlikely will make it there today. The Apollon Temple and Road were amazing. I actually had a good rest. Uh, I went to bed early. Um, Wi-Fi is really slow here, so I've been having some issues with uploading videos. Uh, I've got cramp already for two days again uh, everywhere so I've been taking magnesium uh, but ob obviously not enough uh, it is of course also the state of my body after a year and something and menopause the whole thing together yeah do you know you gotta take a challenge you know you have to challenge yourself a little bit here and there <laughs> um, today is uh, another Bayram it's a teenager Bayram today. So was it uh, 23rd of April was children's Bayram, uh, the day of the flowers. And uh, today is like teenagers are being celebrated. There was a little parade through the town. So I left late because that's what you do because I'm a social human being. And I was being told like there's people like me coming through and they don't talk to anybody. I mean, Try giving us a bad name, like, you have to be friendly to the people you encounter along the way. That's what it's all about. But then we're all different. So I'll have to make up for all those grumpy people. <laughs> all those people who need, like, the silence of being alone. Because they've got such a stressful life where they live. You should go on pilgrimage more often. Okay. Bitchy mood over. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was it was relaxed for me the past two days. Uh, Hector Danchon, uh, the owner, uh, he uh, he was full of chat. He had loads to tell. Uh, it was really interesting listening to him. I learned a few new words. Uh, it's good. Life is good. It's not too warm. There's a nice cool wind. It'll go up to 23 degrees today. I should have started earlier. It was cooler, but you know what? It's all good. So I'm gonna go track up this hill, um, go along the coast. Today I'm heading really truly uh, north. Is it north or east? North or definitely not west. I think it's, I don't know. Uh, so there is like, there is like an L shape, where is it, north, south, east, west, I think I'm heading north, I'm heading north for the day, uh, for the next two days before we bend down uh, to the south, no, it must be, I don't know now, I don't know, my head isn't working again. Uh, uh, this is the map. <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's where we are. Um, yeah, life is good. 
I had a beer each evening. I had lots of tea. I did lots of editing. Saw that temple. Oh my God, that was beautiful. I still am not over that I was the only one there. Like it is mid-May, just because the roads are bad. Yeah, just because the roads are bad. It's worth walking here. Still haven't found anybody to walk with me. I'm hoping uh, uh, that Marcel will come over in the next month or so. That would be amazing. I could do with some company. Okay, let's go. <laughs> A little climb, like where's the marker? Where's the next marker? I don't see it. Oh, look at the birds. See the next marker. I'm gonna go find it. Okay. I can smell the wild chamomile. Ah, there's the next marker. Oh, it's lovely up here. It's beautiful up here. <laughs> uh, this is what we do it for. Okay then. There we go. Thank you for being out here. 
Where do you get your water from? <sighs> I'm going to go past you. Thank you for being here. I was just thinking, maybe I'm all alone. Are you going to move? Are you going to go walk away from me? I understand. Do you have family? There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Into the shadow you go. Thank you for saying hello. Now that made me happy. Yeah, yeah. Into the bushes you go. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. That is the second one I found. That makes me so happy. So, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. And I'll be here for the next few hours. There are, is a bit of, uh, I found sheep's droppings and stuff, but not many. Uh, yeah, and a little, a little tortoise. I don't know, do we call them tortoises? Or a tortoise is the one that live with water. I wonder where he gets his water from. She, he, she, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Ah, there's cornflowers everywhere. Look. Yeah. It is good. It is good. But you do really have to keep an eye on the way markers. Uh, they're there. Uh, yeah, but I do need to keep an eye on them. Okay, now, there we go again. Whew, wish me luck. Okay then, this has been the most beautiful day climbing and walking since I went to uh, the Gate of Tri Trian. That was beautiful. This is stunning as well. This is, but it's hard. Uh, no path, uh, uneven ground. Beautiful though, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm nearly in the village, the next village, uh, which was 11 kilometers. Uh, took me about two and a half, three hours. There were some really steep inclines, nowhere to sit, nowhere to hang. I'm hanging half on a rock. Uh, something is sticking my bottom, like, and, but I, I might try and move it with my stick. I can't actually move. Uh, I have to redo the buckle and then I can maybe get up, but I need to drink a bit of water before I do the last 80 meters of climbing, I think it is. 60, 80 meters, something like that. It's going to be sweaty business. This is the ground we're on. That's where we're heading up. It, it doesn't look very, uh, very steep, but like... Pff, sweaty belly, like... Mm. It's good though, it's so good. And I didn't see or hear anything just now last half an hour. I hear the bells of some sheep or goats, whatever it is. 
heard that sound. I can see the village. All good. All good. I'm a happy, happy pilgrim. Happy pilgrim. St. Paul, you're making me very happy. <laughs>
far in the end. There was loads of climbing. My first stop I had a chat with the with the lady in the coffee house and then there were three youngsters. They came from Assos and they were walking uh, the other direction and so I wished them a good journey and they wished me a good journey. And then I went on, and it was, uh, it was steep, like, uh, a lot of scree, a lot of scree, a lot of scrambling, which is all fine, like, I can, I can do it, I can do it, but, uh, I haven't climbed like this, uh, for a good while, like, it, it's definitely not the up, so it's, it's, it was fine, it was stunning day's walk like the views were wonderful it was about 500 meters of uh five six hundred meters of climbing uh most of it is done the the hardest thing was that there are all these uh, bushes with quite sharp uh petals and stuff and they grow really close uh the gods kind of eat them uh but they're the only ones who are eating them there's a lot of prickly stuff up on those hills. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I, you know, impatient as I am, I'm kind of going like, ah, oh, low, ah, oh, too close, rah, 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 let's get through. So I had like stuff sticking into me from everywhere. And the bags around the sleeping bag, they got ripped. And what else? Oh, yeah. And one of my bags, like the bottom got ripped. I fixed it this evening. Oh, oh my patience. It's not always there. Um. <laughs> it was good, though. It was good walking. Uh. Nice and sweaty. I'm now in this place here. It's a small village. I thought I could have gone further. I just didn't have the energy. Like the climbing, I was like standing there at the top like... <laughs> like, you know, shaking legs and stuff. But that's okay. That's okay. It, it was really good. It was really good. The wind was cool. I'm a good bit away from the sea now. Um, and then I thought, will I just stay here? I went. I went for a cup of tea here in the in the village, and they were telling me that Michael Eichelberg was here with the dog, and he couldn't find a place to stay. So he went on, and uh, I don't know. I decided I would stay in the pension. 
And because I'd made up my mind when she told me how how expensive it was, like it's something like 30 euros. I was like, oh, I want to say no. And then I went like, sure, whatever. Like the good news is washing machine. I wash my clothes. I'm really delighted with myself, but I didn't have the energy to cook. So I went out. There is a, a brand new place opened up last week here. Uh, who told me about the girl who, who came to give me the key? And uh, I went there. I had pizza. We played some music. It was lovely. They gave me dessert and coffee and tea and stuff uh, for free. So I'm still hungry, though. I keep being hungry. Like, and it was a good plate of food. Uh, it was nice talking to these people. It was nice. Um, yeah, I, I wish I'd made it a bit further. I also was thinking, like, I should just have camped. Like, I should just have camped. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi here. <laughs> uh, but I, I washed my clothes. I had a shower. I went for dinner. Uh spoke to Marcel who is thinking about coming and I, I could feel myself go like you gotta come you gotta come you gotta come and hang out <laughs> um from tomorrow onwards once I come to the coast I'll be able to see Lesbos that's really weird like that's really odd I'll be able to see Lesbos that's how far I've come um Asos Temple of Athena yeah, hopefully I'll get there. I have the feeling it's really far away. It it shouldn't be that far. I think I should, I just, I have to leave earlier. I just have to leave earlier. I've been dragging my heels a little bit. I don't know why, but everything always has a reason. Um, so it's for a good reason. I really enjoyed the walk today. I think I was thinking as I was doing it and like, giving out about all the all the things sticking into me like every time I turn I'd feel something pricking I mean the views were just lovely the colors were amazing like all these hues of grays and greens and blues and the stones the yellow it's really well waymarked uh the 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 Troya Assos route is really well waymarked and then from time to time you get like the Jerusalem Way sticker, which is really funny. Uh, the, the the roots, they, they go up together. So uh, you can just use the red and white markers. Um, yeah, it's probably the nicest day walking since the Gate of Tryon. Gate of Tryon was really good, really beautiful day. This was like it, like no, nobody, nobody. I didn't hear anybody apart from like I met some goats twice. Uh, the villages, it's the the houses are really old. Lots of uh, people from the city have been have been coming back to the villages and probably during the pandemic as well, and did up properties and it's just. This old vibe kind of thing. Really, really, really nice. Uh, so I have clean clothes. <sighs> I have to tell myself, just start again tomorrow. It's fine. It's good. Uh, I'm kicking myself that I can't count either. Like 392 days today. Coming up to 400. But, uh, yeah, 13 months. 13 months. I can hear a cow or something with a bell around its neck outside. Uh, it's nice to be to, so close to the sea. It's actually nice to be up in the hills. Yeah, but I, I, I have to really start watching the money. Because it's really easy to spend money here if you don't watch it. Because the price, like this morning as well, I went to get bread and cement and she she thought, oh, yeah, banja, yeah, banja. Um, 
and she shows me the price and I'm thinking 192 okay and then she goes like no 1920 like 19 lira 20 but then like this place you could sleep four people here yeah easily uh, but 700 700 lira <laughs> I was going what but then the hotel rooms are about 800 900 to 1000 liras and we think about it in terms of euro it's actually really cheap but I still have a long way to go I still have a long way to go yeah so there's plenty of campsites now on the way if I if I don't make it to Assos tomorrow uh, I can camp again and I'll just have to you know not drink beer and because it's the beers are expensive and uh, cook cook I don't know where I'm gonna find the energy but I, I really should <laughs> Uh, this place is lovely. It's like old school. Uh, it's in turquoise. Um, the fire alarm thing, the battery was empty. I had to take it out. Um, I still have a summit for tomorrow morning. Yeah, so good. So good. Tomorrow is another day. Hopefully I'll make it to Assos tomorrow. Um, as the crow flies, I only did 12 kilometers, but it was like, it really, it was some walk. Like I was looking at some of it, looking up and thinking, I saw this, this TikTok the other day, um, uh, of this, of this woman looking up this, this climb with a rope in her hands. And then the camera swings and there's this monk, <laughs> this monk is going up the, the same place but he is like you know challenge versus experience yeah it looks it looks bigger than that it is but it's it's like the hills are trying to intimidate you so that you 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 back off the thing is not to back off and then i saw a man making charcoal and he was like all black and everything is burning and smoking and I can't see the way marker and he's going over there and I'm going up there and I'm standing there and God, I can't see the markers and after 10 minutes he goes like there and then there because <laughs> he sees people like us come by of course all the time yeah yeah well that's it for me for today tomorrow is another day thank you for being here with me good night good night we'll do it again tomorrow